two Axioline F stations have an identical structure, consisting of one bus coupler for IEC 61850 and a mixed module for binary input and output. The basic settings have already been undertaken, as is indicated by the lit up green LEDs. All the necessary settings for GOOSE communication can be made via the web interface. For this, use a web browser. Open the start page of the device by entering the respective IP address. Open the item SAS configuration under the category IEC 61850. Entries on the configuration used have already been made here. All the settings for Goose communication are contained in the SCL file. The same file is used on both bus couplers. Only the IED differs in the bus coupler configuration. Name. IED1 or IED2. The Goose Publisher has to be activated for the Goose configuration to start automatically. Select the category I.O. mapping at IED1. Here you see your own IED first, IED1. You also see all the GOOSE participants specified in the SCL file, whose information should be evaluated. As with communication without GOOSE, assignment of the IEC objects is first undertaken for your own IED. Eight inputs are defined under GGI01. Two of these are used in this demonstration. To assign the signals, press the Add button. Afterwards, select the IEC 61850 attributes, Indication 1 Status Value and Indication 2 Status Value. And assign the inputs of the 8-channel Digital Mixed Module. Now the information is assigned that is received via Goose from IED2. For this, press the Add button at IED2. Eight inputs are defined here. They can be received from IED2 via Goose and are now assigned to the output channels of the I.O. module. In order to take on the changes, a restart is required. After the restart, the website of the second module opens. The I.O. mapping is also carried out for IED2. However, the Goose information is now received from IED1. From the structure, you can see that by setting an input on the station IED1, the information is transferred via Goose and the configured output of station IED2 set. 
As the Goose communication was configured for both stations, the other communication channel is also possible. All the settings for Goose communication have now been undertaken on both stations.